between the convoluted lore, cut content, and sometimes hilarious, sometimes annoying, sometimes game-breaking bugs and bright atmosphere, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach wasn't taken quite as seriously by the community as the previous titles were. That's not to say it wasn't a ton of fun to play and get into, of course. And just because the lore was a bit confusing doesn't mean it wasn't still extremely interesting. So interesting, in fact, that I just had to share my own two cents worth when it came to a couple of theories. And wouldn't you know it, I actually had an extremely similar theory to Mr. Matt Pat himself, who was gracious enough to descend from the theorist heaven above the clouds where he resides to invite little old me onto his FNAF theory stream. Still reeling from that one, and let me just geek out for one second about him. It was seriously awesome interacting with Matt Pat. Not only was he the one who reached out to me personally on Twitter, but he also personally introduced me to his staff and hopped onto the stream for a full hour before we went live just to chat with us. No matter what you think about his theories, he really is a swell guy, and much nicer and more approachable than I ever would have thought given his position. But anyway, I haven't returned to the series for another theory since that stream. This is because, frankly, I felt that between myself, MatPat, Super Horror Bro, Daco, FNAF, and several others, the game had been pretty much covered. But then, just over a week ago, Steel Wool Studios dropped a major bomb on Twitter. As I'm sure many of you know, they posted a picture that revealed the first official story DLC for Security Breach named Ruin, set to release in 2023 for free. Praise Steel Wool Studios, praise them! But the picture itself depicts the main lobby of the Mega Pizzaplex in a strange state of, well, ruin. This is quite different from what we can see of this exact same location in the game, of course, and as such has prompted pretty much all the other theory channels out there to analyze it. Now, I've watched some of them, but I haven't watched all of the other analyses, so I apologize if some of this will sound like repeated information, but I would like to take this opportunity to analyze the DLC image thoroughly and discuss a theory or two on what exactly I think could have happened to make the Pizzaplex take on this aforementioned ruinous appearance. Also, I wanted to take a moment to thank my Discord mod and good friend Stang for helping out with researching this theory. Wouldn't have been possible without him. First and foremost, what sticks out to us the most is probably the little girl standing front and center facing away from the camera. Her shoes are super cool. But besides her super cool shoes, the fact that this is another child with a flashlight pretty much all but confirms the notion that this girl, whoever it may be, is going to be the next protagonist in the DLC. This is further supported by the TV screens we can see hanging above the ground that each seem to depict Gregory, identifiable by his signature polo and bandage cheek in some sort of distress, even blurring his image by presumably running past the camera in some of the screens, presumably running away from, you know, death. In front of the girl is that giant golden statue of Glamrock Freddy that previously was in great shape in front of the lobby of the Pizzaplex, but now it's quite broken, with the head lying to the side and the only thing still standing being Freddy's leg. At least I hope that's his leg. To the immediate left of the golden Freddy statue is a familiar face, Glamrock Chica, who's looking quite a bit more damaged than we previously saw. I mean, yeah, we broke her, but we didn't break her that much. Now she's missing that little feather tuft on top of her head and also most of her head besides her eyes and maybe beak. One of her arms is half gone and the other has no plating. Behind Chica, we can see the familiar stairs of the lobby complete with those iconic palm trees, but the stair railings have been broken somehow. At the top of the stairs, the elevators have been closed off by the sliding garage doors that are used elsewhere in the Pizzaplex. And the same is true on the other side. Behind the girl, so closest to our viewpoint in this image is a bunch of rubble scattered on the ground. Since this definitely looks like broken building material and it's pink and it's lying between the statue in the front of the Pizzaplex, that means it must have come from the pink walls of the Pizzaplex beside the gift shop and lost and found here on the ground floor. This implies that the walls of the Pizzaplex are pretty heavily damaged, as we can even see some cabling loose in the rubble that must have come from inside the walls. Now, you might think that's all there is to this image, but there's actually one more detail I'd like to point out, and it's it's probably the most important one of them all. There are dimly lit red eyes looking down upon the area that we can barely see up in the top left of the image. They seem to be hovering way above the ground, implying that this is either an entity that can climb or one that's very big, or both, of course. These eyes aren't present anywhere else, which means that this wasn't put in the image as just some sort of atmospheric effect. And as any FNAF fan worth their salt knows, small details are oftentimes the biggest. I think that Steel will once 
us to know that, specifically and deliberately, there's an unknown entity lurking in the dark waiting for us in the DLC. And with that, I'm pretty sure that covers every detail from the DLC reveal image. Now let's get down to the theories and try to answer what the hell is going on here. The first theory that I'll bring up is the simplest and most boring, but unfortunately is decently probable and as such I shall cover it here. It's possible that the only difference between Security Breach and Security Breach Ruin is the passage of time. This doesn't explain Gregory's predicament or the appearance of the girl, of course, but it could explain the broken down appearance of pretty much everything in the picture, especially after it all allegedly burns down after the burn trap ending, but that depends on which ending is canon, of course. Okay, cool, that wraps up theory number one. Put it in the back of your mind because now let's talk about a much more interesting but also a tad bit wackier theory. Remember how Gregory is shown running around in those security monitors, possibly asking us to help him? Considering the fact that Gregory is clearly still alive and the same age as he was in the original game, I tend to think that this means there actually hasn't been all that much of a time passage since the events of the game. Some people have mentioned that Gregory could have gotten scanned into the system at some point, which would mean that he remains the same age while time passes indefinitely, which is definitely possible. We all know that's far from the first time that human consciousness is being scanned into data has happened in the series. But the reason that I don't buy that just yet is that he's shown running around actual rooms in the Pizzaplex, some of which I can even identify. In the screens where it's looking at his face and he's glancing to the right, you can see circular lights in the ceiling above him and stars on the wall behind him, some small and some big. This doesn't match up picture perfectly, but it really seems like this is one of the green rooms of the Glamrock cast, complete with the circle ceiling lights and the star mirrors. Since it doesn't 100% match up, it doesn't concretely disprove that he could still be running around a data world, but it makes it less likely that that's the case, because this isn't the only room he's shown running through, and more likely that he's simply running around the inside of the Pizzaplex, trapped inside, and this is why we can see those closed garage doors over the elevators. They're closed to keep Gregory inside and prevent him from escaping. And I actually think this alludes to a gameplay element of the DLC, where we may have to help guide Gregory out of the Pizzaplex safely using the security cameras in classic FNAF style, while he and ourselves are avoiding dangerous animatronics at all costs. But back to the theory though, at the same time, even though there might not have been much of a passage of time, there is still all this, you know, ruin lying around. And all of this rubble around the place is very telling. So telling that the entire DLC is going to be named after it. The point is, if time didn't cause all this ruin, that means that something or someone else did. And honestly, that kind of makes sense given the broken and torn apart state of the Golden Freddy statue with the giant hole in the chest, which doesn't happen to gold given the passage of time, and the straight up puncture holes in the stair railing and the pink rubble that must have flown a good 10 to 15 feet to land here. So here's the question, who or what is responsible for all of this? Was it Chica? Maybe, I don't know, she gets hangry sometimes. But I think that's where this mysterious red-eyed entity comes in. And by the way, I just want to throw this out there. I doubt this entity is Vanny because there are no pupils. She always has pupils. Also, it's way above the ground, and last I checked, Vanny isn't Spider-Man, as horrifying of a notion as that is. Instead, we've got to ask ourselves if there are any animatronic monsters in the game that could inflict this kind of damage to structures and giant statues, could potentially crawl on walls, and that sport glowing red eyes. And once we search with this criteria, we're actually left with a few possibilities. In the first place, it could be the daycare attendant, specifically when he goes crazy and turns into Moon, and is limber enough to crawl around on the walls with glowing red eyes. He's still running around the place by the end of Security Breach, so I guess it's possible, although I feel like this particular animatronic wouldn't be strong enough to inflict all this damage. And he's also infamously obsessed with keeping everything in order, not chaos, so let's move on. The next possibility would be one or several of the endoskeletons, which each feature glowing red eyes. I could see a lot of them running around the place breaking stuff, but if this were the case, you would think that there would be multiple pairs of red eyes in the image instead of the single pair that we see which definitely is supposed to imply a single entity. The final possibility, and most likely, in my opinion, would be the massive heap of animatronic innards, the Blob. See, no matter what ending you play through in Security Breach, the Blob exists, and nobody has come up with a good answer as to why it exists. But no matter what, we know that at the time of the DLC, the Blob has to still be alive somewhere in the Pizzaplex. Even when completing the Burn Trap ending, we specifically don't see the Blob die. Actually, the opposite 
opposite. It looks like it snatches up Burn Trap and then retreats, presumably to safety. If its fate was to burn to death, you'd think they'd show us that in a cinematic. The Blob was such a strange but extremely important addition to the cast of Security Breach because it's just there underneath the Pizzaplex for some reason, and it includes lots of the bodies of the original Five Nights at Freddy's cast. Though we're still not sure how they got there besides wild speculation. I think someone put them there, but that's just me. And wouldn't you know it, the Blob just so happens to feature glowing red eyes on its preferred Funtime Freddy face. Now, we don't know which ending to the game was canon, but let's assume for a moment that the only ending where you see the Blob and fight the big baddie of the entire franchise, Billy Afton himself, is the canon ending. As everything is burning around you and Gregory and Glamrock Freddy are running away to safety, Burn Trap is snatched up by the Blob. This has a lot of implications. If it snatched him up because it was trying to kill him, that doesn't make too much sense. Because it could have just let him burn. I mean, who knows, maybe the fourth time's the charm. But if it was trying to save him, which seems more likely, then the question is, why? Perhaps the Blob mindlessly snatched up Burn Trap because it saw another remnant-filled living animatronic and wanted to integrate it into its growing Blob body. I mean, just look at the thing. That's apparently something it's made a habit of doing quite a lot of. That's kind of the whole point of its appearance as a Blob. And I dare say that might even be what it tries to do to Gregory if it catches him in the fight. And if you look closely, in the cutscene, the Blob seems to just kind of peek into the room to see what's going on, then reacts to Burn Trap like it's just now noticing him, before grabbing him up. But what if when it did that, Burn Trap slash Glitch Trap slash William Afton took over the Blob itself? He is a virus, after all, and he is in desperate need of a body, meaning the Blob could be none other than William Afton. But I'm not done yet. The Blob may be big, and it may have red eyes, but it's still just a Blob. Kind of formless, made of tentacles. The Blob itself would probably need some sort of endoskeleton or animatronic body to take control of in order to move around and inflict the damage we see in the DLC screen. But there isn't one around that's big enough for all that blobber, right? Actually, there is. I know, this sounds crazy, but listen, it could explain some of the random things we saw in the game. Remember that when you drop down to go beneath the Pizzaplex and enter the old FNAF 6 pizzeria where the blob is, if you look to the left after exiting the elevator, you see a random giant Freddy head and claw. Again, this being here is just as unexplained as the blob being here, but yet both of them are of great importance and have strong ties to the original members of the franchise. You can even see the giant Freddy head in cinematic glory when Gregory and Gra blah when Gregory and Glamrock Freddy are running out of the Pizzaplex. So it must be important if they went through all the trouble of rendering it even after all their budget and content cuts. So, my dear watchers, what if the red-eyed giant blob, which may or may not include Burn Trap, possesses the giant Freddy animatronic hidden beneath the Pizzaplex and proceeds to wreck havoc and ruin the Mega Pizzaplex? The only thing this doesn't explain is why Gregory has apparently returned to the Pizzaplex and is now trapped inside. But I'd just like to remind everyone real quick that no matter what ending, the blob and the giant Freddy, blobby if you will, exists in every ending regardless, and I don't think we can explain why Gregory would return to the Pizzaplex presently, especially since all of the endings of Security Breach end with Gregory escaping, except for one where he escapes and then Vanny finds him. Anything Gregory could do after escaping is completely speculative. I think there are simply some other details that have yet to be revealed to the public that will shed light on both that and who the girl in the picture is. I mean, Gregory is said to not have any family, so maybe he met this girl while he was out of the Pizzaplex. And then Glamrock Freddy, who might still be connected wirelessly to the Pizzaplex system, sensed Blobby walking around and told him something was wrong and that he needed to return or something, and so Gregory went off to return but then didn't come back, and so this new girl space friend has now come looking for him. Uh, that's 100% speculative, though. This theory also doesn't explain what's happening with Vanny or Vanessa, but that's another subject that once again could change drastically depending on which ending is canon. Hey, maybe both the Vanny ending and the Burn Trap ending are canon. Somehow. But as far as the new villain of Ruin and what happened to the Pizzaplex in the DLC goes, I think this is a pretty decent guess. But that's just my theory though. What do you guys think? Is the Pizzaplex all run down because it's been like a thousand years and Gregory is trapped in a digital world? Or is the mysterious red-eyed blob the one hunting down Gregory, potentially in a giant Freddy suit, potentially containing Burn Trap? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, or at least my efforts into making it, and subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm gonna cover your favorite video game franchise inevitably. Huge thanks as always to my Bandit crew, who are the reason I can continue making these geeky videos for all of you to enjoy. That's all I've got for this one, so I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. This is Bandit, looking forward to seeing you next time, and signing out. Peace!